By now, we've been able to gather up a ton of details of AMD's upcoming GPU lineup said to be called RX 6000 and from the look of it guys, well it does seem like AMD could have a solid chance of getting back into the high-end GPU game again, which, yeah, believe it or not, they actually dominated a long time ago. Now this obviously requires that everything goes as planned, but again things are looking promising where the TP Top Navi 21 aka Big Navi, which is supposed to be a Halo product, seems to be getting a whopping 5120 cores, 16 gigs of VRAM, only 512 bit memory bus and from the look of things it does seem like this card could be water cooled. But yeah nonetheless things are looking very good for the red team there is no doubt. According to some new leaked info coming from no other than WJM47196 who should be considered one of the more credible Radeon leakers out there. Navi21 has been spotted with the Sienna Cichlid and Navy Flounders codenames and it turns out these two codenames guys will feature at least two different memory configurations. As I laid out in a previous video AMD seems to be splitting the ATCU Navi21 GPU into four variants or SKUs where the TP top receiving 80 CUs and a whopping 5120 stream processors. Now this whole leak is coming from no other than Rogue Game which is another well known leaker in the game. I should be said guys that splitting a GPU in this many variants is something that AMD's actually done before with Navi 10 which we do find in the RX 5700 series as well as the 5600 XT and in that case we find the TP top Navi 10 GPU inside the 5700 XT anniversary called Navi 10 XTX, where the lowest spec Navi 10 XE can be found in the 5600 XT. This basically tells us that XTX indicate to be a top tier GPU while XE being the most basic one. With that info in mind, taking a look at the leaked info from Rogue Game, we see that AMD is recreating the same namings with Navi 21 as well. Now while we still aren't sure what exact specs and CU count each GPU will end up getting, we have seen some information that indicates that AMD would split Navi21 into two different VRAM configurations or XTX and XT is set to get 16 gigs of GDR6 on a 512 bit memory bus and where XL and XE could receive 12 gigabytes or maybe even 8 gigabytes respectively on a 384 bit memory bus. Now WCCF Tech is reporting that because XTX is supposed to be the highest spin GPU this one could be water cooled while XT could come with AMD's brand new dual fan reference cooler. The custom made cards are also coming obviously but they are said to come out a bit later and hopefully we will see them by the end of 2020 or possibly in the beginning of 2021. Now 16 GB VRAM, yes I seen some comments on this, it does seem a bit overkill. Now to fix this and to keep the pricing down, AMD could let Big Navi or the 6900 XT be the one getting 16 gigs of VRAM and let the slight cut down XT variant get 12 gigabyte. Simply let it keep the 512 bit memory bus, call it 6900 and call it the day. I mean that doesn't sound that bad though right? It would make it cheaper and 12 gigabyte is still pretty okay with all things considered. Now it might not be 100% accurate and at this point this is just speculations from my end. This doesn't look totally unreasonable right? Anyway guys, <laughs> Nvidia is not waiting for big navi, in fact we do have some strong beliefs that Nvidia will be showing Ampere based GeForce branded graphics cards on September 9th according to Gamers Nexus. And following up by releasing the 3080 and the 3090 on September 17th with the RTX 3070 coming a month later and 3060 dropping in December. And right in between all of this AMD is set to swoop in and steal some of the attention because we do think that they are shooting for a November launch for big navi. It should be said though guys things could obviously change but I am pretty confident that this is what the 2020 GPU launch schedule looks like. Obviously guys I'm very interested to hear your two cents here. Comment down below is 16 gigs of VRAM necessary or do you think 12 gig will be enough? you find everything worth knowing about both Ampere and Navi 2X linked up down below. Now my name is Robin and I want to thank you so much for sticking around this long.